Welcome back to How to Cake It Tuesdays. It's Cinco de Mayo or Keiko de Mayo. Arriba! I'm gonna make a pinata hat with vanilla cake and five different colors of buttercream, five different colors of fondant, and five different colors of candy that's gonna bust out of that pinata. I begin by baking three vanilla cakes, two of them six inches round and one of them five inches round, and then I remove them from their pans, level the top, and cut them all in half. I split my buttercream into five different bowls, about a quarter of a cup per bowl, and then I colored it red, pink, yellow, green, and purple. We're gonna stack and layer this cake one layer at a time, and we're going to fill the whole of the cake with the candies, just like a pinata. So what I do is I cut a hole in the center of each layer of cake and one by one layer it. So cake, purple candy, purple buttercream, cake, green candy, green buttercream, cake, yellow candy, yellow buttercream, cake, pink candy, pink buttercream, and finally, cake, red candy, red buttercream, and then cake on top. My cake needs about 20 minutes in the fridge just to let the buttercream set a little bit so that when I carve the cake, it's not moving all around. Arriba. My cake is chilled and ready to shape and crumb coat. Now I did a bit of research on sombrero pinatas. Traditional sombreros are not this tall and pointy, but the pinatas are. I think they just need more room for candy. Sounds good to me. And I shape it basically like an upside down ice cream cone. It's important to take your time when doing this. Carve little by little and you'll get better as you go. I even put a little cookie cutter on the top just because when you start to carve away, you lose focus of where center actually was. My cake is the perfect shape. I'm happy with it. Time to give it a crumb coat. Now I'm gonna make my hat brim, which I now know is in fact called a brim. Thank you very much. I'm taking my green gum paste, rolling it out into a circle, and I'm gonna set it just on a platter that I found in my home. Make sure to coat it in icing sugar so that the gum paste doesn't stick. Set it on the platter, smooth it out, cut a nice clean edge, and then set it aside to dry. You should do this in advance. In fact, the further in advance you do it, the better, because your gum paste will really dry and be stable and be set, and you won't have to worry about breaking it when you start to apply your fondant. I wanna decorate the brim of my hat. I love the way pinatas look with their little frayed paper blowing in the wind before you bash it open. We're gonna recreate that for this cake. So I start with the brim, I roll out my purple fondant first, cut it into strips, and then I use my very handy paper fraying scissors to actually cut along the fondant and fray the fondant just like you would paper. And then I apply it in strips first to the bottom of the brim, and then I'm gonna turn it over so they're all hanging down. Did you see that shot of me flipping that brim? Did you see that? The special effects on how to cake it are reason enough to subscribe. After I flip my brim over, I continue with the frayed fondant strips and I work the purple up over the brim and then I begin with the green into the center of the brim. I'm gonna continue this action with the frayed fondant strips all the way up the cake. And in this instance, I'm adding a very thin layer of buttercream as I go as the glue and just go all the way up the cake beautifully, first with yellow, then with pink. This is a very tedious action, but it's so worth it in the end. And then finally with red. Snip, snip, snip. Fray, 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 snip, 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 ole! We made it! We made it to the top of the sombrero hat. 
There's just one last thing that a real pinata would have, and that is a ribbon to hang it so you can bash it. This cake is a party. Unfortunately, we can't actually hang this pinata cake, but that doesn't mean that I can't bash it. Mr. Cake! Where's Mr. Cake? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, that cake is gonna get me in my dreams. I hear candy! I'm gonna have visions of like fondant and candy and cake crumbs on my floor. It'll be okay. It'll be fun. <gasps> it was fun having Mr. Cake eat my cake with me. He gets to eat a lot of cake. Oh, I need a margarita. Olay! Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.